Hey everybody, Tawana here. I am coming at ya, checking in for round five. Week one. Week one is completed. I've been on the LCD for seven days. Um, couple things. Ooh, hang on one second. Okay, had to get my book. Um, <clears throat> couple things. I, um, have been, you know, trying to figure out this whole process and everything. And, um, I actually have been doing a lot of inner work and trying to figure out what it is that I'm looking for and what I'm wanting and why I started my journey in the first place and really trying to remember what my motivation was in the first place for me to lose weight other than, as you probably maybe saw in my very first video, my health was really not good, which I want to obviously live a long time and see my kids grow and um, have children of their own and see what kind of adults they become and so it's important to me to keep my health you know that's that's big and um, I've healed a lot of problems that I was having but um, yeah my health is better but that doesn't mean that my mind is in the state to keep it that way so a couple things I'm doing um, one I am reading a couple of books which I highly recommend if you are uh, struggling with emotional eating or don't seem to stay on track um, you know I definitely recommend both of these so the first one that I've um, started reading was called fulfilled f u l l f i l l e d by Renee Stevens and she's um, actually got the top weight loss podcast available for free on iTunes and um, I have been listening to her and um, her book just came out this month and I um, am working through it it's a six-week course um, that she's got set up for people and uh, so I'm really liking that some of the things I like is that she really helps you to figure out what your what she calls a, away from and towards motivations are and um, I realized that after gaining some weight on my last p3 and p4 and phase crazy um, was that I actually got to another away from motivation and the away from motivation was growing out of my size eight I was freaking out um, the the eights were getting too tight and I refused to go back into double digit sizes I've been living in double digit sizes and forever and um, I didn't want to do that anymore so that was my away from motivation but the problem was is I never could figure out the towards motivation um, and that's really the one that keeps you going so she goes through a lot of uh, like exercises with you to figure out what it is that you want yourself to be and the week one really helps you look through limiting beliefs and things that you're really having a hard time getting over what are your intentions why you want to do it the behaviors that you have that you want to change the people and things in your life that your weight struggle also affect and who's affected by it um, she has you imagine what you'll look like in a year doing exactly what you're doing you know being an over overweight person what does that mean in a year how's that gonna affect your life so some of the away from motivations that I had, you know, were uh, I want to move away from my clothes fitting too tight. I want to move away from overeating when I eat. I want to move away from the fact that I'll eat when I'm not hungry um, or that I avoid exercise or that I eat too fast. I'm such a fast eater. It's kind of crazy how fast I can eat. 
And then it, you know, it works you through some towards motivations. Like I want to be a good example for my kids. I want to control my emotions. I want to be in control of my emotions when I'm around food. Um, I want to move towards eating more healthy food all the time. I want to feel worthy and loving of myself. So you get to dream about what you're going to look like. Actually, it's a really great program. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link down to her in the sta uh, status bar and um, her, her book. The other one I'm reading and loving is The Weight Loss Apocalypse by Robin Phipps Woodall. And I'm going to tell you now, if these two women could get together and figure this out together, oh my gosh, it would be absolutely amazing. They could change the world, I think. Um, so I highly recommend both of those. The weight loss, weight loss apocalypse starts by really thinking about and talking about the emotional eating side of things, which as you guys know, is one of my biggest challenges, but it also talks about how HCG works and how it relates to leptin and all of these wonderful things that you can really learn about why this diet is so amazing. Um, so I'm very excited. The end of week one, right here, this girl Although I loaded and, and gained five pounds, I lost 12.4 pounds in seven days. So I'm very happy about it. Um, I can tell you I need to drink more water. As we all know, we all need to usually, most of us need to drink more water. So, but here's what I wanted to tell you. I'm really excited because I've been thinking about doing this forever and I just really didn't know what my goal was supposed to be. And um, so what I did is I actually went shopping today. I've got some birthday money left over from turning the dirty 30. <laughs> I'm an old lady. Um, but I got, I was at Macy's and they had um, some jeans that were on sale. I've never heard of this brand before. But they're called Do Denim. Let's see if you can see. I don't even know if you can see that. D-O Denim. Do Denim. I've never heard of them. But they've got cute little butt pockets and everything. And um, these are a size 3. 32s. They're 32 in length. They're a little long. I'm kind of short. But um, I can wear my boots or something with them. But they're a size 3. And I tried them on and I could get them up. But dang, were they tight. So And I couldn't quite button them. So these to me are good jeans. They, they really don't have much give in them. They're pretty... Um, they're pretty not real stretchy so I thought this would be good and they were only $20 guys I mean if you're going to buy jeans that don't fit you don't want to spend a ton on them until you get into them you know so I'm really kind of excited to actually have bought or purchased sugar. the besties are watching they're going to slap me for my grammar <laughs> anyway um Guys, this is um, exciting for me because I haven't bought a pair of gold jeans um, or I haven't bought a pair of, or a set of anything gold since uh, years ago when I uh, bought a black cute little dress that was a size 8 uh, when I started Weight Watchers and I was I just really wanted to fit in this cute little black dress and it was size 8 and it was a one digit number and that was my goal size and um, with HCG I've realized that that's not not the size I want to be. I want to be smaller and healthier and athletic and a great example for my kids. So that's what I'm working on. I'm really excited about all that stuff. And guys, um, if you have uh, any questions or anything, don't don't hesitate to message me. It might take me a couple days because I'm a pretty busy lady, but I will totally answer anything you might have questions about. So I'm out of here. I'm already at nine minutes. Love and health. Uh, from me to you. Happy releasing, happy stabilizing, and um, happy journey, whatever your choices are. Talk to you guys later. Bye.